Hi, I'm Patu from Free Cal. From this month on, we will be publishing an index fund tracking error screener. This is the third kind of mutual fund screener uh, that we'll be publishing. One is the equity mutual fund screener, which is for active funds. Then there's a debt fund screener, debt and hybrid fund screener. And this is the third screener, which is for uh, index funds, uh, which basically, uh, uh, you know, gives you an idea of how closely the fund is tracking the underlying benchmark. So what we've done is provide an Excel sheet with uh, two uh, um, two uh, sheets. One is uh, you have the uh, fund return minus the index return. So you take the fund return for three months, six months, nine months, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight years, then the index return for the same periods. And then you uh, uh, calculate the fund return minus index return. So that tells you how closely the fund is able to track the index. Sometimes the fund return minus index return could be positive. That means the fund has outperformed the index and that's bad. Uh, then we also measure the tracking error over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight years. So their tracking error is basically the standard deviation of the fund return minus index returns. That is the monthly fund return minus monthly index return over one year, over two years, etc. So it's just a standard deviation. The start tracking error will always be positive and the tracking error will depend on the uh, duration you consider. Also, um, the tracking errors is not an intuitive measure because uh, as uh, as intuitive as a return difference. So I would prefer the return difference. And uh, for example, if you can see here, let me just make this a little, little bit smaller. So this is a f uh, the fund name and the fund return minus index return. So you can see uh, that the uh, the fund return minus index return is minus three, minus two percent, minus one percent, zero, one percent, two percent, three percent, and so on. Now here, uh, the way you screen is uh, zero percent is ideal, but uh, that will never be the case. Minus one percent is all right. Minus two percent is maybe so so. Minus three percent is bad. Anything above zero is bad. So you you have to screen. Uh, you have to use the between function when you screen in Excel. And you can choose uh, a value that is greater than let's say minus 2% and less than zero and then you will get a range of values. So you can use that, uh, 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 that the between function to screen the fund return minus index return. Also when it comes to tracking error, um, please choose for, um, f uh, please shortlist funds that uh, lie in the top uh, five or top 10 in terms of consistently low tracking error over uh, several periods, uh, maybe not every period, but over several periods, because if you want to choose the fund with the, uh, the lowest tracking error, then uh, they will change the TER later on and then you will, that something will happen, to, uh, then the AUM will change and all that things will change. So don't go for the, the best fund or the low of the fund with the lowest tracking error. Have, a, uh, have a, a short list of top 10 or some top five, whatever it is. And, choose one among that. So it's better to uh, always uh, um, have a broad net. So you can get the screener uh, from this um, link. I'll leave the link in the description and also in the first comment. And I'll catch you later. Bye bye.